We not sleepy on today. Oh, I didn't know I was recording right now. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready. Hey, just kidding. But hey, everybody, that is not the way we start this video. How we start this video is what's up? Wait, okay. Anyway, what's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. Cause what? I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Picky, picky. Hey, this video is basically a twofer, okay? And so, when your friend comes out with a new palette, told y'all it was coming, ay, 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 ay. I told you guys that I was gonna be doing a video with the new Jackie Ina palette in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, this is literally my first PR package from Anastasia. I've never gotten anything from them, so. It's all to the good. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. Now, I always wanted to sing her song, but since I am reviewing something by her, okay, um, I am gonna give her a little remix because y'all know her song is Jackie, 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 something like that, right? I got a remix. Jackie, 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 I wanted to do that. All right, so anyway, let's dig in. The other, um, I'm gonna do a twofer, okay? So if you guys see me in the same ensemble, um, yeah, it's okay. Like, no judging, okay? This is a judge-free zone. Mm -hmm. And so um, I am gonna be reviewing this primer because I've been talking about the primer forever and a day. It is by It Cosmetics. It is called Your Skin But Better. And um, it is oil-free. And it's makeup, it has a makeup gripping base. And it is a pore refiner and a hydrator. And it has all day grip technology. So I have never done a review on it. I told you guys that I was thinking about doing it because I really do like it, but I want to see if it does something different to my skin. So I will be doing one side primer, one side no primer. Okay. The other part is going to be on this palette. So it did come with a bag that has that iridescent, you know, um, holographic type situation. I've been watching Jackie ever since she was a little pumpkin pile five, right? And I remember her always using, like that was one of her favorite colors, like that kind of taupey color, um, along with this kind of iridescent situation. And I, man, I saw that she has a necklace, you know, with her signature on it, bomb.com, clever, love it. But this color right here, I'm gonna show, ooh, and it has a brush. I may use her too. Let me just put a little alcohol on that baby, on that boo. Now this color right here reminds me of Jackie. All day, every day, all day, every day. I may have to put a close up picture. Um, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll just see. But you guys, I will be doing a close up as well, just wiping my face, because I will be doing that primer video so you will see it. So even though I love me some Jagga 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 and she's my friend, I am gonna keep the review all the way 100 cause that's how we get down over here, y'all know that. So from first glance, I'm all the way happy that I see three shades of brown, okay? Y'all remember that group, Lighter Shades of Brown? On a Sunday afternoon. We, we were chilling at, at the park. park. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, yeah. I mean, y'all can tell I am fully woke, okay? Fully awake, however you wanna call it. Stay woke. But anyway, I love the fact that she has the brown in here, baby. Like, boom, boom, boom. I'm here for it. I'm already knowing that I'm rocking that ginger right there. I love edges and credit will give you that whole deepening type situation, right? But I will say one thing that's missing at first glance for me, because y'all know I'm like all the way serious about my highlights. It is missing a brow bone highlight for me. And I do like a tan, golden, um, you know, skin-like similar type highlight situation. And I like it to be matte. I do not like the shimmer like highlights. Like I don't get down like that. Bars. But names come through okay totally cute and i'm gonna tell you edges and lituation have me at hello so anyway so first things first i am going to put some um concealer on my lids you guys and you know i watched jackie's video in regards to her palette and i wanted to recreate it but i saw that somebody else already recreated the look and so i'm just gonna do my own thing but also in that video i saw that she used her um concealer as a primer and as a base and i'm gonna tell you what i always do that but i totally forgot that i could do that with this Too faced born this way concealer so 
Thank you, girl. Thank you. Because you just started something. Because I totally forgot. Because I don't like using this under my eyes because it's a little bit too mattifying. And I probably should have like thought this style through because that's in my way. But anyway, this is in the shade Chestnut. This is the shade that I rock in this foundation as well. Um, brows are already done. I almost went ahead and did like this base before I came on. But I wanted you guys to see what I'm starting with. And usually when I do a look, I do always use a primer, but because she did not use a primer in this, uh, with this palette or in her video, I'm going to forego the primer as well. Okay, pumpkin. I I'm not sure why Jackie decides to do it. Cause you guys know I love, like, I love her looks and all that, but we do have different techniques when it comes to certain things. Um, we do have different preferences when it comes to skin, when it comes to eyes and we do have different eye shapes. So certain things that she may rock may look a little different on her. All right. And, um, our skin tone is very similar, but she has a little bit more red to her skin than I do. I am a tad bit more golden. So her, uh, color in the Too Faced Born This Way is chai, whereas mine, I could rock chai, baby, I could get down with chai. Me and chai could kick it, okay? But chestnut is my jam. I use this powder. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Powder that, um, we got a love thing going on. So I am going to put it around the crease. I'm not going to put it on my mobile lid, but the reason I put it on the crease is because it helps everything blend, right? because it's not like sticky or anything like that. I think I showed y'all the wrong color. I'm sorry, this color and this color just screams Jackie like right away. And she used to always do this green. Um, when she, back in her Mac days, I forgot, was it called Plumeria or pl Plum or Pluma something? It was something she used to use all the time that was like greenish. So I, it's, I'm not, and when she did her collaboration with Elf, she had a palette that had some green in it, so. This definitely has her name all on it. All right, so come through Ginger. Now there is some fallout, but you know, I don't mind. Just shake that, shake that brush a little bit. And y'all know, um, I don't have a whole lot of new Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, but I have purchased Anastasia in the past and I've always loved their palettes. Like, I don't know if y'all remember the catwalk. Um, I don't remember what the other ones were, but anyway. I am starting, I'm just building it up to what I want. And I may go in with edges because edges, edges kind of gives me that cocoa bear feel, but it's a little bit darker. And y'all know I love me some cocoa bear by Makeup Geek, but let's lay this ginger down and then we're gonna go on top with some edges, right? Get them edges snatched. <laughs> I don't know. I love that ginger is very subtle, gives you a nice little contour. So let's go on with edges because edges were, ooh, edges. Girl, snatch them edges. Edges reminds me of, like I said, Coco Bear or even, there's a color in the Morphe palette that I like too. I really do like ginger and edges together. I'm tempted to get a little bit of credit I'm gonna take that credit. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm tempted to put a little bit right here, but I'll wait. You know what I noticed? That everyone has their own technique when they do their eyeshadow. Now this is something simple. I'm not really doing a bunch of detail. I am literally going to just do that. Um, I think sponsored is the color we're gonna go into because I'm rocking the whole green. I may even do Douala's. I'm not sure. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. We're gonna figure it out together. How about that? You see how Edges gives you that burgundy vibe? That's totally, like, honestly, this is like a fall palette, really. It reminds me of fall. It really does. It it's perfect, actually. Let's just swatch Douala's. Okay, there's Douala's. And here is Sponsored. I think, I think I'm gonna go with Sponsored and I may do Douala's. I just kinda, it makes me feel like I'm from New York when I say Douala's. But I'll probably do the Douala's, like, um, yeah, in the inner corner possibly. So, I'm just gonna, so what we gonna do is fake it till we make it. Now I do know that, oh, like, I didn't, okay. Hold on, I didn't need to spray Jack. Mm. And I do like this because this color, this is a really pretty color. I don't do a lot of shimmer on the lid usually, um, but I'm here for it, especially with what I'm about to wear today. But one thing I like about this color is even though it has that like glistening type look, right? That little metallic type look. I like it that it's not a whole lot of color. It is a subtle like <laughs> metallic look. So one reason that I usually add a base to my eye 
is because I won't say that I have like hooded lids, but I don't have a lot of like space, right? So when I go above my crease, it does help to put a base on at first, but I didn't do that today because I just wanted you guys to see the payoff without it. But the, I, that's another reason I usually do it. See, like, cause we go way up here, baby, that's not where my crease is, but that's where I go because I want you to be able to see it a little bit better, but come on through with the payoff. What? Ooh, so they might go in the inner corner. Y'all that's a nice little, that's a nice golden. And then Sup girl Supreme come through. That's pink. That's a matte pink. But one thing I'm, I'm excited about is big wig. That's purple. And look how like, look how pigmented that one is. Oh, I can't wait to use her. We're not doing it today though. And then let's look at Wigglies. Oh, I just got excited. It's not overwhelmingly metallic. And I know that that's what she used in her video. And I think that's going to be the next one that I try. Lituation. This is another one that she used to use a lot, like a taupey color a lot a lot so i'm not surprised at that either lituation it literally has a hint of like lavender to it too but also has that taupe feel to it and then i don't want to say this but uh yeah this one is z-a-m-n girl and there it is now that one reminds me of like more of a glittery type shadow now I don't really, really remember like all the descriptions that she gave everything, but um, I'm just going off of what I feel when I swatch. This is Pinker. Oh, Shookington. Let me give you a little Shookington. Ooh, woo. That swatch a lot came out, baby. Oh, it makes me want to use that too. And you know what I like? I like that these have a metallic feel to it, but they're not overpowering. You feel me? Like, see that? I have to. Mm -mm. I need a brow bone. So this is my Morphe 35.0 and this is Universal Bars. What we're not going to do is do lashes and liner on camera because I have to be like this and then that's not working. We're going to go in the inner corner with Dorla's and then we're going to put a little credit. We're going to give a little credit to credit under that eye girl. But first let's go in with Dorla's because I just want this to pop right here. Come through Dorla's. Then I use some Ofra liner. It is their new verified liner that's a love thing so boom that right there and then i'm gonna take this um it's a jacqueline hill and morphe brush number 43 and i'm gonna go in with credit and we're gonna put credit in the lash line and that black liner gives it a little bit of depth depth all right, so I'm gonna come back with the final look because obviously you guys are not here for foundation, right? But what I am gonna tell you is I am going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation and I already have a review video on that. So I will come back with the final look. I basically just showed you guys like the simple, y'all know I like to keep it simple with the eyes. It don't take all that, like boom. And we, you know, I could have done a little more detail, but this will get me right. And then when I do my foundation, it's gonna be like, hello girl watch trust me on this okay just trust me but you guys have an awesome blessed day thank you so much for all of your continued support whether you watch my videos whether you come you know come on snapchat or whatever the case may be i appreciate the love okay so don't forget to join the fan bam if you haven't and you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think bye confidence is key you know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.